Hello mga friendships! For today's vlog, we are going to show you the city of Cambridge. So, Cambridge is a city on the river of Cam in eastern England, home to the prestigious University of Cambridge, dating to 1209. University colleges include King's, famed for its choir and uh, towering Gothic chapel, as well as Trinity, founded by Henry VIII and St. John's with its 16th century Great Gate. University museums have exhibits on archaeology and anthropology, polar explorations, and history of science and zoology. So welcome to Cambridge, mga friendships! So mga friendships, actually, itong video na to is a bit um, old. We went to Cambridge during uh, at the peak of the pandemic where we cannot go anywhere for holidays and the hotels are not taking in family accommodations. They were only taking in um, people who are traveling for uh, work. So we, we have nowhere to go. So we decided to just drive around and this is where we ended up to in Cambridge. But anyway, let's enjoy the sights of the streets of the city of Cambridge. Mga friendships, did you know that Cambridge is one of the most beautiful and historic cities in the UK with one of the top universities in the world? Its center is tightly packed with narrow winding lanes between university colleges that open into open green space and riverside view to enjoy. The streets in particular mean that it is a city that you can just spend time wandering and exploring without needing to be in particular, just enjoying the wonderful places along the way. There are 12 of the most beautiful streets in Cambridge. So we'll see if we were able to go into these streets and definitely there is a part 2 of this video. Enjoy mga friendships! By the way, mga friendships, that building in front of us is the AstraZeneca in Cambridge headquarters. So Cambridge is also one of the most exciting bioscience hotspots in the world. The Discovery Center, that building is called the Discovery Center or DISC, is located at the heart of the Cambridge Biomedical Campus. It is designed to play a central role in their mission to deliver life-changing medicines to patients. So as we all know, they are also the maker of one of the COVID-19 vaccines. So as, our, uh, as they are largest research and development center in the UK. It will have more than 2,000 people working across therapy areas and drug discovery and development once fully occupied. So the construction of this building was still ongoing while we were there. It is uniquely designed to strengthen collaboration, promote openness, and improve the sustainability of every aspect of science and their business operations. So this AstraZeneca headquarters or the Discovery Center is also designed to foster collaboration and interaction, helping them to accelerate the development of medicines for patients. So uh, this is state-of-the-art building, the novel technologies and talented scientists it houses will help sustain and build the next wave of transformational medicines across the therapy areas. So on November 23rd of 2021, the AstraZeneca Discovery Center was officially unveiled in Cambridge, UK, highlighting its potential to design the future of research and development. It was opened by His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, Prince Charles. They welcomed leading researchers from the scientific community, 
dignitaries and partners aligned with their ambition to advance healthcare to hear about the types of pioneering research and technology that will be employed within the building.
So mga friendships, we are right here in front of the King's College. So this college or this university was founded in 1441 by Henry VI soon after he had founded its sister college in Eton. So Eton is Prince William's school. So formerly, kings only accepted students from Eton. However, the king's plans for the college were disrupted by the Wars of the Roses and the resultant scarcity of funds as well as his eventual deposition. So little progress was made on the project until 1508. Henry VII began to take an interest in the college, most likely as a political move to legitimate his new position. The building of the college chapel, begun in 1446, was finally finished in 1544 during the reign of Henry VIII. So, um, this king's chapel is actually very popular and very uh, historic. But it has a passcode, so we cannot get in there. But we can walk around it and I will show you. So, here you go. That's the King's College. There are a few of, you know, important people, authors who came here to study before. And I will tell you who they are. <laughs> so, mga friendships, one of the most famous alumni of King's College is Isaac Newton. Yes, the very Isaac Newton we knew in physics he is the one who formulated the three laws of motion and what else cash do you know isaac newton isaac newton also created the law of gravity he was a famous uh physicist yes yeah is. and he created the law of gravity after getting hit on the head by an apple and from that he realized there must be a law of motion for this action uh -huh. there must be a reason Hi, you might fall down mm -hmm.